Well, Huawei's P30 and P30 Pro smartphones are absolutely stuffed to the guts with brilliant features and tools, courtesy of that Emotion UI 9 software. So here's the best bits of a MIUI 9 that you need to know about in our full tips and tricks guides to help you get the most from your shiny new P30 handset. And don't forget for more of the latest greatest mobile tech to poke subscribe and dig that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, we highly recommend activating the apps drawer to tidy away all that clutter from your desktops into a nice tidy little compartment. To do this, just head to the P30 settings and then go to home screen and wallpaper and then select home screen style. Just change this to the second drawer option and an apps tray will magically pop into existence. Mission accomplished, all the crap and clutter has been tidied away. Next up, everyone is getting all excited about a proper dark mode in Android Q, but you can already do this on the P30 smartphones. Just head to the battery settings and then scroll down to darken interface colors. Just a quick tap and your menus and other bits will all be inverted to white text on black background. It looks dead sexy and it'll help save on battery life. Sticking with the display for a moment, you can activate the P30 or P30 Pro's always on display to constantly show the time, date, battery level and any weighted notifications whenever the phone is hibernating. To get this in action, all you need to do is head to the home screen and wallpaper section of the settings and then head to always on display. As well as simply activating this feature, you can also schedule it so it's only active at set times. So you can basically have it disabled when you're getting some lovely kip at night. And it also makes sense to schedule Huawei's eye comfort mode to automatically spring to life at night time for an easier on the eye experience. This is as simple as heading to the display settings and then going to eye comfort. You can automatically schedule it to come on between sunset and sunrise for instance and it really does make it much more comfortable on the old eyeballs. Job done. Now thankfully both the P30 and the P30 Pro both sport a much more subtle bit of notch action up at the top of the screen, certainly compared with the older Mate 20 Pro. However, if even this dewdrop style notch offends you, then it's a piece of piss to hide the thing away from view. Just head back into those display settings and then go to more display settings and then head to the notch section. Just tap hide and you're sorted. You can also easily change up the look of your desktops on the P30 and P30 Pro as well. Just a quick pinch of your fingers there on the desktop and you can tinker with the wallpaper and transitions. And if you tap this home screen settings icon, you can play with the grid size as well, get rid of the Google feed and plenty more besides. The P30's notification bar can also be fully personalized. Just yank it down and then tap this pen icon up top to switch around the order of those shortcut icons and swap any out. Personally, I like having the do not disturb in there for one. To free up a bit of screen space, you can also ditch the navigation bar sat down there at the bottom of the P30 and P30 Pro's display and then replace them with nifty gesture controls instead. Just scroll down to the very bottom of the settings menu and then tap system followed by system navigation and then select gestures. The navigation bar will bugger right off and you can then swipe from the left edge to go back at any point, swipe up from the bottom edge to return to your home screen and then swipe up and hold it there to bring up your recent apps menu. It's ridiculously intuitive and a breeze to use. One of Huawei's new Emotion UI 9 features is the digital wellbeing tool which can be found in the P30 settings menu. At first this looks like some pointless digital nanny thing but if you tap screen time management it can actually be used as a rather handy parental control measure. From here you can set limits on the daily screen time as well as set a bedtime for when the phone actually deactivates. No more YouTube at 2am you pesky wee blighter. And if you do have kids, then chances are you'll have to manage the P30 or the P30 Pro with a single hand quite often while stopping them from doing something dumb with the other, which is where the one-handed mode is absolutely invaluable. To turn this on, just swipe along that navigation bar at the bottom or alternatively up from one of the bottom corners towards the center of the screen. Everything then shrinks down and is much, much easier to use. And this feature can be enabled or disabled from the Smart Assistant section of the settings menu at any time. One of MIUI feature that's been around for yonks is the knuckle mode, which can be used to split the screen and work with two apps at once. This actually works pretty well now. Just open up the first app that you want to multitask with and then tap and drag your knuckle from one edge of the P30 screen to the next. You can then choose a second app to open up down below, so you can for instance enjoy some textbook vids on YouTube while messaging your mates about how great they are. Lovely stuff. And don't forget, if you've got the P30 Pro, then you can get Huawei's funky new reverse wireless charging feature on the go. This can be turned on in the battery settings section and allows you to share your phone's power with another wireless charging device. 
This isn't much cop for charging other phones admittedly as it is pretty slow, but it's definitely handy for accessories like Samsung's Galaxy Buds. And last up, don't forget to unroll your fingerprints in the security settings so you can unlock the P30 handsets with just a tap of that in-display sensor. However, this is once again an optical scanner which can prove quite unreliable, so we recommend also using Huawei's face unlock feature which can again be found in the security settings. This uses the selfie cam to scan your mug and prove that you're really you although it's sadly not a full-on 3D face unlock like you get on the Mate 20 Pro. So that right there is our full Huawei P30 and P30 Pro tips and tricks guide to help you get started with the best features on your shiny new handset. If you've missed out your own favourite tips and tricks, definitely leave us a comment down below and don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you!